Engineer 775 here. Wanted to uh, talk to you a little bit about uh, standby generators, backup generators, and the quality of generators. Uh, what we have, uh, what we got here is a Cummins Onan, kind of top of the line if you ask me in terms of uh, generators. This is going to be a propane 20 kW unit, and we're going to put a 200 amp transfer switch in here, hook it to the house with a 500 gallon propane tank. I'm going to kind of walk you through what we can do. There's a lot of bells and whistles. You can hook these to the internet, remotely start them, remotely monitor them. Uh, we're going to program it to exercise on a Saturday from 9 to 10. So it'll start up, well it won't run that long, but it'll start up at, at 9 o'clock. And so that it stays uh, fine-tuned, well running. And so that's it. So, uh, Okay, just open this uh, generator up. And it's got a really cool cabinet you just pull up. And then it swings out of the way. Uh, for servicing, I got to get a battery for, but uh, that's not a problem. You can see uh, if you know anything about generators, this thing has a like, commercial head to it. You see the fan there. Um, this is a very well-built machine. The air comes in through through here, and then it'll exhaust out down through the back. Very quiet regulator on this side. So we're gonna we're gonna set. I'm probably gonna mount the regulator to the house on this job. Run it over here and then mount a 200 amp transfer switch next to the meter base here. So it um, comes with the controls in these boxes here. We're not, I'm not going to open these now. We'll show you later on when we go to program it. So I just wanted to show you some of the features. Very easy to work on. These covers just pop right off so it's easy to get at everything for servicing. External um, oil spin on oil filter. Um, so great great setup so see how easy it is to get to get to it to work on uh, nice nice motor mounts so that's it just a few of the features I'll show you a few more after we get her hooked up and running and we'll program it and take you through that hopefully we'll answer all of your questions uh, regarding how to set up uh, alternative uh, power source whether it's a generator or anything else so if you got any questions just let me know engineer 775 all right, I want to show you some of the controls and the hookups for this uh, Cummins Onan. You see the wires to the transfer switch are hooked in here. You got your two lines, a neutral and a ground. And then you also have uh, the controls are connected here. This, this plug goes over to the transfer switch. We just splice that together. Fairly simple there. And then all the controls and programming is done with this module. That you can set the, the date, the time, the time that you want to exercise it. For this one, we're going to set it for Saturday morning uh, at 9 o'clock. It's going to start up every Saturday at 9 and exercise uh, on a weekly basis. You can disable that or set it to bi-monthly, weekly, however you want to set it. So um, we're just about done with this connection. We're going to hook the battery up, and I'll show you the transfer switch. This is a 200 amp service engine ready transfer switch. Service entrance rated transfer switch is different from the normal transfer switch. The simple fact is that it has a 200 amp disconnect that runs from the meter over to the breaker and then back into the breaker panel inside of the dwelling. These switches here are pretty unique because they're not only they're automatic but they're also simply operated by using this handle here if there is a failure and these switches can be used or switched manually that's by great insert this on here and push down one time you'll see it you'll see the nomenclature change up here it says on and off when you strip it down one time this will change to off and this will be on if this says on you're on generator right now you're not on generator you're on normal power so it says off this tells you A tells you your own utility. Now, the way these are wired up, it's incorporated with a battery charger. The battery charger uh, stays in this transfer switch and it totally keeps that battery up to optimal starting uh, voltage around about 13 to 13 3, somewhere along in that neighborhood. It's a very simplified switch, easy installed, and, and, and very durable. And I'm going to let Scott tell you a little bit more about it. Okay, we have everything buttoned up, the transfer switch in place, and the Cummins Onan generator 
ready to go. Batteries in it, and we're just uh, waiting on the propane company to come hook us up, and then we will uh, we'll be ready to go and do some testing with it. So, um, anyway, if you need any help with specking out a Cummins Onan generator, be glad to help you. And this is about uh, as good as you can get in terms of uh, a uh, propane gas generator on the market. The Cummins Onan is probably the tops. Um, and obviously they sell diesels and and uh, all that but the diesels only start at 20k and up for Cummins Onan right now so I'm um, still looking for a smaller generator option for preppers in that uh, 7 to 12k probably 7 to 15 kilowatt option but anyway for, the, for now this is gonna work out great and this will pull everything that this house needs to run setting the propane tank in place for our Cummins Onion generator.